hi. Um, how are you doing? So, um, my name is Laura Joy Schmidt, and, um, you know, I guess this is my story a little bit. Um, I just watched, <laughs> I just watched, um, a video about Selena Gomez and her testimony and how she, um, she talked about God. That was amazing. Selena, that was awesome. Don't let anyone take that away from you. So, um... So, um, my family, um, we've grown up here, um, I was born on June 23rd, 1998, and, um, in Des Moines, um, in an apartment, and, um, you know, I don't remember very much about that apartment. Um, but my mom remembers about it. Um, she and my father moved from there to Cedar Rapids and where they found a, um, a group of Christians who, um, a church who, um, it's called Believers in Grace Fellowship. And, um, that's the church I grew up in. Um, it's a really awesome church. Um, haven't been there for a while. But, um, it's a really, a really cool place. And, um, the pastor there, he goes into detail and depth of, um, a lot of spiritual things, um, so much that some people don't like how in-depth and in-detail he goes, but, um, I don't know, I like it, I think it's cool, I think that he has his own style that he, um, you know, speaks with. And I was lost several times. The places I'm lost are sitting in the car with my dad. And then um, just out and about other places. But, um, alright. So, um, it's a pretty... I grew up in a pretty, um, traditional house, I guess. It's not traditionalist, as in traditionalist, um, or 1945, before 1945, but it's traditionalist, as in, this is like the new kind of traditions that we set up, and we just stuck with those traditions. <laughs> Um, for a long time. Anyway, um, well, at that house, my greatest accomplishment, my greatest accomplishment was cleaning my room when my mom told me to. That was my greatest accomplishment <laughs> because I had... So many stuffed animals. There were so many stuffed animals. I didn't see the ground. I was like, whoa, can I see the ground, please? <laughs> can my feet touch a nice surface that, um, um, like a flat surface? And instead of walking on like all these different edges, like climbing a mountain or something, and um, 
Well, I really hated even being in that room because it was so messy. There were Barbies on top of it all. <laughs> um, and the thing about the Barbies is that my sister dislodged their heads with her feet and I did not like that one bit. So I didn't want to even look at them. <laughs> But, um, when I was at the house in Cedar Rapids, we didn't see very many people. Like, we saw no one. We, we, well, we didn't see no one. We saw the people in our neighborhood after, like, five years or something like that and after that's after praying really hard that that oh, we would meet somebody but um yeah we met this um family that moved there to our neighborhood um otherwise you don't talk to anyone in the neighborhood it's really weird it's like I'm growing up on Mars or something like that. I'm growing up somewhere because I I don't really know people very well. It's kind of weird. But um the things that I know about people, I have to be told by my mother because she knows why people act the way they act. She just does. <laughs> She's awesome like that. And, um, the things that I mostly learned about people were from the radio and from listening to music. Um, Music is um, sound, and according to the Bible, we live by faith and not by sight, and faith comes by hearing, and hearing through the Word of God, and um, I think that we just live by sound in general, because what if we're blind? Because if we're blind, we have to just hear things. That's why you can visualize water being pulled apart when there's a, like a carrot being snapped. I don't really visualize that very much. Like water being pulled apart when there's like I was eating beans last night. Yes, excuse me. And, <laughs> um, anyway, BT dubs, I think this is going to last a little bit too long. I have to segment this.